Hello everyone, thank you for coming up today. My old subscribers, thank you. And to those that are viewing for the first time or that have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. And to my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Please don't forget to hit on the like button. A very big tragedy has just happened in Nigeria. A military training aircraft has crashed at the Kaduna airport with 11 persons on board and the aircraft fair dead including Nigerians chief of army staff Ibrahim Atahiru and this crash occurred this evening that May 21st Friday and the Nigerian Air Force says that the cause of this particular crash is yet unknown. So this is a very big tragedy. You can imagine 11 people, including the chief of army staff of Nigeria, has also passed away in this particular crash. There's a video footage from the scene, which I'm going to be leaving behind so that you can have a view of the clip of that particular scene of the military training aircraft that crashed in Kaduna this evening. And this crash happened at about 6 p.m. while it rained heavily. It's obvious that the weather was not even good as of the time this crash happened. And the chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiri was among the 11 persons that actually passed away in this deadly crash what's a painful way for these families to see the death of their loved one to everyone is in shock with this particular news and there are some of the pictures of those that had actually passed as the photos of the adc to the late chief of army staff ibrahim atahiru who also perished in the ill fatal military aircraft major Lawal Hayat, the ADC to the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiru, also died in this ill fated aircraft that crashed at the Kaduna Airport Friday, May 21st, 2021. These are the pictures of the ADC. You can see there, it's so painful. Just imagine what the family is going through at the moment for all of these people to pass away like this in one day 11 persons also president buhari expresses shock and sorrow over the death of the chief of army staff lieutenant ibrahim atahiru who died in this military crash in kaduna and this are the statement from the presidential spokesperson that's gaba shehu and this is it President Muhammadu Buhari is deeply saddened over the air crash that claimed the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiru, and other military officers. The President condoles with families of the deceased, the military, and the Nigerians in general, describing them as heroes who paid the ultimate price for peace and security in the land while praying that god receives the souls of the patriots the president says the crash is one mortal blow to our underbelly at a time our armed forces are posed to end the security challenges facing the country the president pledged that the departed would not die in vain it's a very big loss to the country as a whole you can imagine that this top security officers, these military men, just passed away within one day. The families are in great mourning and a full list of those who died in the plane crash involving the chief of army staff, Major General Ibrahim Atahiru, has also been released. Also, Buhari Salahu, that's a personal assistant to President Muhammad Buhari, on a broadcast media who published the list disclosed that 11 persons died in this crash and these are their names Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiru 
Brigadier General M. I. Abdul Qadir, Brigadier General Olayinka, Brigadier General Kulia, Major L. A. Hayatsun, Major Hamza, Sergeant Umar. The names I just mentioned are the class entourage, and then the crew members are Fleet Lieutenant to Asanyi, Fleet Lieutenant A.A. Olufade, Sergeant Adeshina, ACM Oyedepo. These are the 11 persons that crashed. Isn't this very, very painful and a huge loss to their entire families? It's so painful that people would lose their lives like this. And the Nigerian army has also confirmed the death of the chief of army staff, Major General Ibrahim Atahiru. The army said that the aircraft, which en route to Kaduna from Abuja on Friday 21st May 2021, when the unfortunate incident happened, it also said that details of the crash burial arrangement will be communicated to the public soon very very painful you can imagine how this man who went out they never knew they were not going to come back again their families waiting back home for them all to come and hear this kind of a sad news it's so painful and to see that these people are working for the security of the country to ensure that there is peace in the country because of the latest insurgency the way things have been happening these days you know it's traumatizing and it's even scary and these are some of the men that are out there trying to ensure that peace is being restored to the nation as a whole and for them to come and befall their own death in this manner like this it's such a great pain may the souls of the chief of army staff and all the other 11 persons rest in peace and may almighty God console their families, friends, well wishers, every other person that knew them and also the country at large because a lot of people are affected one way or the other. You can see this is someone's father, uncle, nephew, relative. People are related to these people one way or the other. So a lot of people are affected because you can see that these are different people from different ethnic groups, from different places that passed away. So come to think of it, so many people are in great pain right now, losing their loved one. It's such a pity. No matter how someone died, it's so painful. But at the time they said, the cause of this crash has not yet been revealed. You know, the army also said that this particular aircraft was a route to Kaduna from Abuja and the distance is so short it's not like it was a very long route they were actually taking from Abuja to Kaduna is not far I know it taking a flight within just few minutes it's not going to take like hours or days and you come to ask just within seconds this is how death just happens that is why death is something that is inevitable and again it's unpredictable will this man know that while they were routing from abuja to kaduna just within that short distance none of them would ever envisage or feel that they would pass away in that particular time it's so painful when you see things like this happening families would leave their home and letting their loved ones know that i will see you so so time or so so day but at the end, the next thing the families will hear is a news like this. Being caught off guard. You will just see it on the news. Because some of these family members just saw this on the news. None of them were even called because it was a sudden death. And you know things like this. You know the military have protocols. They will not just start calling the families to start telling them your loved one has passed away. They have ways of going about it. And before they may even get to hear the call they must have seen it on the news and that is why it's so devastating for things like this plane crash involving military people 
most times their loved ones usually see it on the news they don't even get to hear or receive a phone call unlike other crashes that you could see someone who have a crash with the car and all you see someone will pick up the phone and call and say come and identify this body it seems like this is the cop of your own person at that time you would already prepare your mind but this you'll be taken off guard just seeing on the news your father or your brother or your uncle that left the house saying i'm going to a short trip i will be back you will just see it on the news that this person is dead how devastating and how shocking can this be some people can even go into cardiac arrest as a result of something like this it's not easy to see your loved one passing away and especially where it's had is someone you just saw probably an hour before or few minutes before the next thing you hear is this person is dead it will be difficult for you to even believe that the person you just saw has passed away and when they will see this kind of a thing on the news in their minds they'll still be doubting is this really happening and they want to find out is that own loved one dead or how did the whole crash happen or what was the cause a lot of people will be in state of confusion seeing their loved one or hearing it over the news that their loved one has passed away it's really painful it only takes a big heart to accept things like this some of the family members even end up dying because they can't stand the pain of losing that particular person it's really really saddened that this man have all passed away like this. These are people that are fighting for the country, that are standing out for the security and safety of the country, and they end up losing their lives. 11 people. That is not just a small number of people that have passed away now. It's really, really painful and sad to hear something like this happening. But I know over time, they'll carry out further investigation to find out what led to this particular crash and most times you know the black box is always the easy way for them to find out usually everything would destroy but that black box doesn't destroy they would eventually get it and that is one of the major things they can actually use to lead them to the cause of this crash but sometimes you say when the person has passed away it cannot bring back the dead it's so painful you know families will all be heartbroken at the moment and seeking for a way to see if anything can be revealed to them in regards to why or how or what led to their family members death or what led to this particular crash and that's the bad thing about plane crash once there is a fault up there you can't even stop or control it is difficult unlike cars some cars when you are experiencing a fault that you know it could lead to a terrible accident there are ways of even stopping the car in some cases you can stop it but in some cases you can't stop the car from having that accident and that is why it's easy it's different from that of the plane crash and on land and again it was actually raining heavily when this happened so other things could also contribute to this particular crash or coin but at the moment no one can ascertain the major reason until they are done with their investigation definitely you know and again since it has to do with the military they will not back down they would ensure that they get to the root of the cause of this particular crash once again, may their souls rest in peace and may Almighty God console their immediate families. These are the people that are in great pain right now, even as we speak. It's so painful. Friends, looking at this, you know, it's a tragedy for a lot of people. People are affected one way or the other. It may not be you affected directly, but seeing that these are people's fathers, brothers and relatives that has passed away just within a twinkle of an eye if you have anything to say go please put that down at the comment section and one thing about plane crashes is difficult for people to survive you go find out that in vehicle accidents some people survive crash or accident you see that they would announce either one person came out alive with injuries in plane crash it's rare 
very rare cases very very rare you would hear that someone survived a plane crash generally most people don't survive because the way it will just land it bursts into flame and the whole thing will just explode like a bomb and at that time you will it will be difficult for anybody to even escape and why plane crashes are usually very painful it the people on board already know that they are dying because at the time that there's a malfunction with the plane or at the time the plane is crashing people inside will be screaming and calling out names or praying and all of that and saying a whole lot of things knowing that that is their last that is a bad thing about plane crash too you already know that you are dying but a good thing is some people at that time will quickly make peace with themselves and god before the plane will finally crash all the same however people die it's still a great pain to their loved ones and people around and every other person that even knew them friends please don't forget to hit on the like button also subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video i'm leaving a clip of the footage of the scene of that particular crash behind so you can also have a view of that particular scene thank you god bless you all god 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 the big one, yeah. Ah, hell, you go. Ah, shit. Ah, man, man, man. Shit, shit, shit. Ah, ah.